But I got a text back. Are we talking about my pastor, Pastor Williams? And I said, yes. And then something said, wait a minute. Then the phone rung and now it's just the dream again. You sure you got your dates right? <laughs> and, and those of y'all that knew Tanessa, y'all know God Tanessa told me. Amen. <laughs> Bless her spirit. Amen. But thank God for them two women. Let's give them a hand. Amen. I've only gotten about an hour and 15 minutes of sleep. And so I, my other apology is I ask that you would forgive me if I choose not to sing today. Amen. I want to get straight to the word. Amen. Because above all, I see Wayne back there shaking his head. Amen. Amen. The Lord has blessed me uh, and blessed us tremendously. Most of you know that I, we lost our church during Hurricane Ike, and the Lord has, uh, we went through a transition. We, we went from a membership of 170-some to down to about 20-something. Yeah. And, and that, that bothered me for a while. But you know, sometimes we don't understand what God is doing. <laughs> It, it, it sort of affected our television ministry, and, and most of you, those of you who know me, I'm, I'm always in revival somewhere all over the United States, and, and I, it really put me in a depressed state, amen. I didn't want to talk to anybody, but then I later come to discover that sometimes, sometimes it's good when God downsizes. Because once you downside, then there's the production screen. And, and, and the Lord brought, brought us back to our small. Oh, Lord Jesus, okay. Brought us back to our little small building where the church originally started. Amen. And now we're overflowing in there. Amen. We I got we got our little Bible reading, Bible carrying, Bible carrying. 
Bible practicing and Bible believing. It makes a strong Christian. And a strong Christian makes a strong church. Strong Christians and a strong church. Let's go to work. You find the following words. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. That's all I want to deal with right there. You may be seated. Uh, a few moments from this story. Pastor Kevin Williams is here to bring you out. And if the army of Christ now would not gather, I would that you would see our thought after us if you would. Pastor Kevin Williams is here to bring, to bring you out. Yeah. Give the Lord a hand for you in this place. Yeah. Allow me to preface this message this morning by telling you that Moses was seen as a leader. Yes. For those of you that have never led anybody, being a leader sure ain't nothing nice. Being a leader looks good. Because we as pastors get an opportunity to get cute on Sunday morning. We wear our suits and drive our nice cars. And I tell you, it looks good. But can I say this? A leader that is sure enough doing his job. Yeah, yeah. The picture sure ain't pretty. All right. And you know, I said just the other day to a friend while talking about life, he said, Trainer, you, you're doing a good job, but man, it seems like you're hated by everybody. All right. All right. All right. But can I tell you that when I began to think about who I am, Yes, sir. Hey, and who when I look at myself, yes, yes. Hey, Kevin, I realize that I am a nobody. But to them that hate and think about me, I am something. Or I have discovered that people do not talk about nobody. I mean, he can do what he want and do what he want. She can do what she want, say what she want. But when it comes down to the preacher, everybody wants to put this and that. You hear things such as, he did not say that right. He did not do this right. And it's simply because preachers and pastors, we are somebody. So, so I've come to grips with my position that it is attractive. And whether I see it or not, the fact still remains, it's simply a position. Now, now, allow me to begin by warning all of us to know that sheep need shepherds. I, I mean, I'm talking to all of you that said the other day that I don't have to come to church. And I don't have to hear no preacher because I can simply read the Bible for myself. But can I be honest with you all today? Sheep, they need a shepherd. Okay. For when you look at the mentality of sheep, sheep are one of the dumbest animals on planet Earth. Now, let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. You can take a cat and bring that cat across town, but sooner or later, that cat gonna find his way back home. take a dog and, and, and bring him way across the field. Sooner or later, the dog 